Charles Murray has been canceled. He doesn't get invited to colleges anymore. These students turn their backs and call Murray... Racist, sexist, anti Murray's racist and sexist, they say, because he wrote this book, The Bell Curve. These are the bell curves, the distribution of IQ. Blacks on average have a lower IQ than whites. However, whites are not at the top. East Asians on average have a higher IQ than whites. Ashkenazi Jews have higher, higher IQs. 人種によって IQ の分布に違いがあることは統計的に確認されていますしかし人種と IQ の関係を議論することは差別だと捉えられることも多くアメリカでは一種のタブーとされています。しかし差別を強調すると統計的な議論が一切できなくなってしまうのでここで一度人種の問題から離れて IQ の一般的な研究結果を見ていきます。IQ の高さについては遺伝による影響を示すデータが存在するためそこに人種的な影響が含まれるかは別として生まれ持った個人差があることは確かです。しかしか先天的な要素で全てが決まるのではありません中には環境により IQ が変動するというデータも存在します例えば世代ごとの IQ を比較した研究によれば時代の流れとともに人類の IQ が平均的に上昇しているというデータもありますこれは不倫効果と呼ばれその理由としては教育や栄養状況等が改善するとそれとともに IQ も上昇するといった説明がされていますそこで後天的な要素を改善することで人種による IQ の差は解消できるという考え方がありますアメリカの歴史を踏まえると差別により黒人が十分な栄養を摂取できなかったもしくは十分な教育を受けられなかったという主張は検討に値すると思われますしかしこのうち教育の保障についてはこれまでのデータを見る限り学校教育を改善しても差したる効果は認められないと言われていますアーサー・ジョンソンは教育の歴史を学んでいます。私は彼のことを知っています。1969年から1968年に、ハーバードの歴史を学んでいます。Take an,、uh, to do a review article on the、um, early childhood education programs that were designed to raise the IQs of minority、uh, students. There was a, a, a strong belief among virtually all psychologists that the cause of the gap was unequal opportunity due to racism, due to all, you know, all negative things in the society. And if you could Compensate for this, the gap would go away. So, early childhood education back then was called literally compensatory education. Jensen looked at these programs. He was an empirical guy, he understood psychometrics. And he wrote a, it was over a hundred page article detailing these programs and the flaws in their research design. Some of the programs reported IQ gains of on average five points, but a few reported 10, 20, and even 30 point gains. One was called the Miracle in M- Milwaukee. The, that investigator went to jail ultimately for fabricating data. But, but the point is that Jensen wrote an article that said, Look,、uh, the opening sentence of his article is classic. The opening sentence is, I may not quote it exactly right, but it's, We have tried compensatory education and it has failed. And he showed that these gains were essentially nothing. You, you couldn't really document empirically any gains at all from these really earnest efforts to increase IQ. もちろん、教育というのは学校だけで行われるものではありません。学校以外にも親の教育が与える影響などを考える必要があります。両親の育て方が子供に影響するというのは感覚的にも理解できる話だと思います
ではこの点についてはどのようなデータが存在するでしょうか A study showed that black orphans, black orphans raised by white families, had significantly higher average IQs than other black children. Close quote. It's been found according to studies that when black orphans are adopted by white families, it, it raises their IQ. They have higher IQ than other black children. このようなデータを見ると、家庭環境を変えれば、IQ が上がる可能性はありそうです。しかし、そのような効果には限界があるとも指摘されています。So this shows you that IQ is not significantly genetic. It shows you that IQ is environmentally malleable. No, it doesn't. It shows you that IQ is not completely genetic. That's what it shows you. If, the, if, if it was an entirely environmental issue, then if the average IQ of whites was 100 and the average IQ of blacks was 85, then you would find that Or average, a, a black that was a, a black child that was adopted into a white family、uh, would end up not with an IQ of 85, but with an IQ of 100 in adulthood. What these studies actually find, these, these、uh, interracial adoption studies, is that the average IQ of the black children who are adopted by white families is about 89. So, so it, it's slightly higher than the average IQ of black people, i.e., black people that are raised by black families and raised among blacks. このように家庭環境も決定的な要因とは言えなそうですでは学校でも家庭環境でもないとしたら他にどんな外的要因が考えられるでしょうか社会的な要因を重視する立場の中にはアメリカにおける黒人文化に問題があると指摘する見解も存在しますこれはアメリカの黒人と他の国の黒人の比較に基づきその文化的な違いを強調する立場です。After the Second World War, you've got large numbers of American troops remaining in Germany. For that matter, there's still several tens of thousands there today. And both black and white American soldiers had children with German women. And Flynn discovered that those children growing up in Germany showed no IQ differences at all. The, the, the black kids and the white kids, the same. Quote, quoting intellectuals and race, Professor Flynn concluded that the reason was that the offspring of black soldiers in Germany, and now you're quoting Professor Flynn, grew up in a nation with no black subculture.、Yeah. Close quote. Which means what? Which means they experienced exactly the same expectations. Is this the. They, no, no, no. The expectations are external. The culture in which they grew up with was, was not the culture in which black kids grew up in America today. So they had. There's no gangster rap in,、uh, uh, uh, that, that was pervasively uh, uh, available in Germany. So here's what I'm getting there is something about black subculture in America today、mm. that holds African Americans themselves back? Yes. ギャング文化が黒人の発展を妨げているこれは投稿主のようにヒップホップが好きな人にとって容易には受け入れがたい仮説ですしかし客観的に見てギャングのように振る舞うことが社会に与えるマイナスの影響も否定はできないでしょう社会的に暴力や犯罪が蔓延していれば学力を磨いたところで人生の役には立ちませんそのような努力自体が無意味に見えてしまい、下げすみの対象となります。メラカリ、What the fuck you say? It's not that crazy of a word. Bro, what the fuck do that even mean, bro? You, you always use these weird ass words, bro. You be, man, you be acting like a white dude. もちろん、これは仮説の一つにしか過ぎませんから、IQ の差がなぜ生じるか、その理由はまだ分かっていません。そもそもこのようにセンシティブな問題について原因を究明しようという研究者はあまりいません研究を発表するたびに反対のデモが発生すると考えるとそれだけで萎縮してしまうのが普通ですしかし IQ と年収の間には相関関係が認められていますし人種による収入格差の是正を望むのであればこのような議論は避けては通れません。
統計的な差異というのは多くの場合差別の一言で片付けることのできない残酷な真実を含んでいますこの問題について動画の冒頭の研究者はこう語っています I thought we said to the reader people run screaming from the room if you talk about black and white differences in IQ and actually there's no reason to do that you can look at all the facts squarely in the face and this is not something that should cause you to lose sleep at night it's it's not a big deal why is it not a big deal because you judge other people as individuals not as members of groups in supposedly this society that is the ideal and if we sit down across from each other and you are black I can't assume that you're not as smart as I am and if you sit down across from me and you're Asian I can't assume that I'm not as smart as you are I've got to talk to you この動画をご覧いただきありがとうございました高評価チャンネル登録をよろしくお願いします